everyone, and welcome to Repurpose Live, where we help you to rethink your growth, your wellness, and your purpose at this stage in life. My name is Lissa Figgins, and it's my mission to help women to have the health, the time, and the resources to create a life that you love. And it's my intention each and every week to introduce you to an amazing woman who can also help you with those priorities. So today I want to welcome to our show, Sharon Morrison. Sharon has over 30 years of experience in the health and wellness industry. So Sharon, you must've started when you were 10 because you look amazing. Um, but she's been a coach, a trainer, an instructor, and has founded a, a company called Fitness with Heart, which I really love because it does reflect uh, her heart. And what I love about Sharon's story is that her commitment to having healthy habits not only changed her life, but has also led to what she's doing now to help others to find the health, the wealth, and the quality of life that they truly want. So Sharon, thanks so much for joining us today. Tell us a little bit more about your journey and how you got to where you are today serving others in this way. Well, first of all, I want to thank you so much, Lisa, for having me here today. And you give so much of your heart and your valuable information for free that it's just amazing. So thank you so much for that. I know that many of us appreciate it. So You're welcome. yeah, I, and I, thank I, you for I, having me. Um, so I got into fitness. Yep, I was ten. No, not really. I was in my early twenties, and I got diagnosed with Crohn's disease. And truthfully, I was fitting mad. I was, you know, I, I was. I used to play basketball, all five feet, one of me. I ran track, I was athletic, and I just was mad, especially when, and this is going to sound really bad, but I'm going to say it anyway. The doctor said, don't worry, there's a pro athlete with Crohn's disease. And I'm like, well, who? And it was a football kicker. And I'm sorry for saying this, but I'm thinking a football kicker. He probably he just has to kick a football, right? right. I want to, yeah, I want to have this vibrant life. I want to just be able to do whatever I want to do. I don't want to have to look for a bathroom all the time, all that good stuff. Anyway, so I just got on a mission to finding what would work with me. And I started uh, working out more consistently. And I became, I had a lot of energy. I have a lot of energy. I, even when I was sick, I had a lot of energy. I don't know why. Thank you, God. Um, right. but, <laughs> I, yeah, how lucky is that, right? Um, so I just, started working out and then but one thing led to another you have so much energy would you like to teach for us I'm like sure I'd love to you know would you like to be the aerobic director things just kind of fell into my lap when it's right and it's meant to be I believe that's kind of what happened yes so I, was, I was sick but I also did aerobic competitions and I was able to do anything that I wanted to do and went through a lot of life challenges and to, big tip for everyone, get your life in balance because that's like one of the best things you can do for yourself. That's a story for another time. But I learned how to eat better. I found a company that I was, that I'm still a health coach for, and that allowed me to learn these habits of health. I knew a lot of them, but let's be real. Sometimes we know everything, but we do not implement. And I implemented them. Within six months of starting Fitness with Heart and health coaching for this company, I had my next colonoscopy and it was free and clear. I asked the doctor, what if I don't have it anymore? He goes, it's, it's impossible. You'll have it. And I always had signs on um, physical and biopsy and I didn't. Wow. Yeah. Really cool. Right. Yeah. So what was your doctor's response? Pardon me? What was your doctor's response to that? Well, he, he was just, you're going to have it. And, and I didn't, and honestly, I haven't talked to that particular doctor anymore. My insurance changed all that stuff, but he, you know, I took myself off. I was on heavy duty meds. I had fistulizing Crohn's. You don't want to know what that is. If you do, you can ask me, but you probably don't. <laughs> um, so I, I just took myself off meds and again said, okay, God, let me, let me find balance in my life. A, a lot of things, is, things had changed, went through divorce and all that, but um. I just really, I took myself off. I never looked back. That was, this October will mark 11 years of being, having no evidence on biopsy, on, on my colonos colonoscopies or anything. And gosh, life is good. Right? <laughs> yeah. You can't get in there. That is amazing, right? And I love that a couple of things that I, I heard come out from your story, or you said this a couple of different times, was you just kept taking the next step. Right. You just kept doing what was in front of you and how, 
you know, one thing led to the next, led to the next, you know, you probably didn't start off, you know, at, at 20 saying, I'm going to be a fitness instructor and I'm going to help other people with their healthy eating habits. And, you know, and I'm going to help them look great in what they wear. Right. But because you were open on that journey and you were aware of the things or the needs around you, your own needs and what you needed to do to get you healthy, that led you to that next thing. And people noticed that, you know, I, and we've been having some conversations around purpose and rethinking our purpose. And oftentimes I tell people, look and see what are the common threads that have kind of followed you for, for many years, right? Or what are the things that people are coming to you because they see this in you and they know that this is something you naturally can do and, 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 uh, and, and use to help people and things like that. So, so that is, that is fantastic. So what are you doing, you know, specifically now, um, that's helping women to, with, with their health and, and their life? Well, you know, I like to do, I like to be diverse. I like to do a lot of different things. And so I do zoom Pilates classes. I do zoom hit classes, interval training. I've got a Pilates equipment right here in my studio over here. So I do private sessions when it's safe and when everybody feels good about it. Um, and I do a little bit of health coaching still. Um, yeah. And, and, and yeah. My, new, my new fun thing is helping women look great in their fitness clothes. And we've got other clothes too, but fitness was why I got into that type of business. Right. Right. I love that. I love that. And, you know, it starts from the inside out, right? It really comes from just growing and developing who we are as a woman. And I think as we age and as we hit those milestones and those different decades, there becomes this, this depth of character and of beauty that then just comes out. And then we want to match the outside, right? By taking care of it from the outside. So when you look back, you know, either on your own journey or as you're working with women, you know, now who are wanting to be intentional with their health, their wellness, their fitness, how they're looking in those great, you know, cute clothes, what are a couple of tips um, or lessons that you've learned along the way that you could share with a listener today that says, you know, I really do need to prioritize this and I don't, maybe they don't love where they're at right now, or maybe they just want it to be even better than where it is right now. Well, I love what you say, purpose, purpose. You've got to have a purpose because without a purpose, you don't have that inner light. So, and you are so articulate and you're so great at sharing that, but purpose is huge. For me, finding balance was huge. Um, you know, I used to do too much, you know, work out too much, do everything too much. I was a type A. I learned how to pull back. And honestly, women, we have to take care of ourselves. Without you taking care of you, you cannot take care of someone else in a good way. If you're not happy and content, you're going to be snappy with your, if you still have kids, I don't have children, I have babies, or, or your husband or whatever. And finding balance in everything in life, your relationship, your finances, your health. I mean, it's got to be, I mean, to me, health is a big wheel. It's like, it involves everything in your life. It's not just one thing. So getting it as close to balance, times that you certainly can't do that, but getting it as close as you can is what's worked for me personally. Yes, and I think <laughs> So key as women, especially, I think we tend to serve everyone around us and think that taking time for ourselves is selfish, uh, or we just don't have time left over or money left over or any, you know, any bandwidth left over to even consider the option of what that might look like. And so we think I'm just going to keep going doing these things and I'll get to it tomorrow. I'll get to it next week. I'll get to it right next Monday, right? That the ubiquitous Monday, right? But what happens is we're, like you said, we're not able to give our best to those people in our lives. And so instead of putting ourselves in the back burner, if we would just take even just a small amount of time, right? Like I like how you said, it doesn't have to be a crazy full out two hour workout at the gym. It can be a 15 minute HIIT workout, right? It can yeah. be, you know, just stopping to take that five minute breath of fresh air outside or reading a book or just sitting down and, and enjoying that cup of coffee instead of having it on the go. Just those little things that will refresh us and add health. And then we're going to be so much better in all those roles that, that we're looking to serve. Right. Do you agree? Absolutely. That's, yeah. that's fantastic. Yes. Was, was there anything else you wanted to share before I uh, commented on that? I don't okay. think so. I think okay. I just wanted to make sure that I hadn't I hadn't cut you off there because I, I, really... I could talk for hours, by the way, but <laughs> right, right. 
right? Well, and that that says a lot about what's on your heart and why you are serving women, you know, with uh, with with what you're doing because that is a part of your heart and one of those things that you have to do. So I'm always curious to know when you kind of you know think on your journey and uh, what what's been the best thing so far for you along this journey and has you been figuring out you know what wellness looks like for you, what this what your purpose looks like for you, and just you know who you are and what you're called to do. What is what's been the best thing about that? Honestly, relationships, Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I've been having a blast with my new business, my clothing business, meeting people, relationships, you know, my husband and, and here's another great tip for people. If you haven't read the five love languages, read it. It's an amazing book and it will help you because we all have what we want, but that's not necessarily what your partner wants. So what is theirs? So to me, it's really relationships. Because if you have good relationships, people that support you in your life, you can find balance because they're okay with you taking time for yourself and things like that. So if I had to pick one thing, I'd pick relationships over anything else. Yeah, because it makes a difference, right? It's so much more fun to be on this journey with others and to know that we are not alone when we're feeling frustrated or confused or overwhelmed or just feeling like we're not enough as women. I think to know that we have sisters that are, you know, that are on this path as well and that are wanting to grow really just helps inspire and, you know, kind of prod us and, and get us going again when maybe we've uh, kind of gotten stuck. So well, how are you looking to grow moving forward? Because you're the type of person I can tell that you're not done growing, right? You're not, you haven't arrived yet. So how are you looking to grow in the next, you know, year or so? What, what does that look like for you? You know, I'm 58 years old and I am blessed to be it really semi-retired, but I can't, I can't do it. When we moved into the country, I didn't really have to work, but I'm like, no, that's where I had to find my purpose again too. And so it's like helping people that I, I believe that that makes everybody feel good. When you, you know, dig deep and you help someone else, that's a really great feeling. Sometimes we need to be helped too. Sometimes a person that you need to help is yourself and you should take that into consideration as well. But really, I see myself really building. I have a a new business, it's a clothing business, and I want to build a team and I want to help women feel great in their clothes. I mean, have the whole shebang, man. If you want a business that you can work from home, be with your kids, whatever. I mean, you've got the same kind of business as I do. And boy, isn't it fun to help somebody? have better finances, have better health. I mean, my gosh, the sky is right. going to be better than that, right? Like, I feel like I have the gift of waking up every morning and saying, who do I get to serve today? Whose life can I change? Who can I help to be able to say yes to the things and the people that are most important in their life? And so many people get up even later in life and are still just going to a job and working for somebody else and, and not happy in that, you know? So I love the fact that we've both found some of those options and, you know, you still can live out your purpose. Even if you're, you know, in a job that you don't love, it's really about how you interact with the world, right? It's about how you interact with the people around you and the way that you treat people that that is your purpose. And then, you know, come join one of us, right? We would love to share with you about what we're doing and and the joy that it brings in helping others in this way. So thank you so, so much, Sharon, for sharing today and for all the things that you're doing. I know you've got a few great resources that you um, want to offer our audience. So tell us a little bit about them and where we can, uh, where we can find those. Well, thank you for asking, Lissa. And thank you so much for all you do. You are just an amazing woman and I feel very honored to be here today. So thank you. Um, I've got, you can go to SharonMeredithMorrison.com. It's my website. I've got a couple of resources there. Um, Dining Out, Complete Guide to Dining Out, um, and a 30-day workout challenge. I also have Zoom fitness classes and things. You can see everything on the site. I'm working on one that is how to eliminate a muffin top. So stay tuned for that one. That's a free resource. Yeah. Especially as people over 40. You know, right. things change a little bit. So we want to get rid of that. <laughs> exactly. It takes a little bit more work to get it off and to keep it off. So that is super, super important. Well, what we'll do is we will put your um, your link to your website in the in the notes on, around this video. So that way, if you're listening and you want to see some of those free resources and um, and, and start making some, some, you know, some moves in that direction, um, I highly recommend go and check it out. Sharon's got a, a heart to serve and to really help you be your very best. And I am offering a live well, living and aging well in in every area of our life, like like Sharon talked about. So I'll put the link to that down in the comments um, as well. And here, 
but help you that you can be so that you can do what it is that you've been called to do. So thank you so much, Sharon, for being with us today. I appreciate your um, your generosity in sharing your, your time and your resources and, uh, and know that you are making a difference. And so thank you. And um, thank, thank you. you everyone for listening today and joining us. Um, we'll look forward to connecting again next time that we're going live. In the meantime, if you know someone that this may benefit, please share this with them. Our goal is to get this message out to as many as possible so that we can continue to have that ripple effect and make a difference. So thanks everyone. Have a fantastic rest of your day and we'll be talking soon.